Hey, Army's got a great video here, courtesy uh, regarding DSP. DSP goes on a weird, um, unhinged rant against the cult of hate, which is fucking bizarre. One of the greatest things about locales, I think, is their inability to be self-aware. And DSP must be the apex predator of lacking of self-awareness because he has no idea, no fathomable concept or grasping of why people hate him despite him being incredibly easy to hate maybe that's why i like watching dsp similar to brendan they're both incredibly lacking in self-awareness so because of that they're amazing locales because they keep repeating the same mistakes and have no idea why people keep loving them why people are out to kind of get them or hate them whatever it may be so in this particular clip <coughs> dsp gets baited into answering a question as to what he was going to do with the Mike Clum documentary that he cancelled last minute because he's a fucking pussy. But he tries to explain that the documentary was actually, he, tra he basically makes it seem like the documentary is going to be actually a, a fluff piece. It's going to be a puppy. So it's going to try to make him look good. I don't think that's possible personally, because I think he's so deplorable. He's so unlikable. No matter how you frame the documentary, just watching him in his natural environment or watching or listening to him say things, you're going to instantly not like him unless you're a bit redacted, right? It just is what it is. So let's play the clip and let's see DSP try to explain why people that hate him are unhinged and he's perfectly normal. Because I try to bring in more viewership by having games like this be a day stream. This game would have probably been a dead playthrough. Uh... By the way, the toilet seat headphone things, fucking hilarious. He somehow, the lore goes that he was wearing regular headphones and he kept getting ear infections, which is weird, right? I don't know about you, but when I wear headphones, I don't get ear infections. Most likely he's getting ear infections from wearing headphones because he doesn't wash behind his ears. He doesn't wash, you know, he doesn't fucking clean his ears. He probably doesn't clean his headphones and he probably doesn't even shower. So that's probably why he's not, he's getting ear infections. He's lack of hygiene. But he thinks it's because of the headphones and because he wears them all day, like which is weird, like as if all streamers get ear infections. Not true. So then he decides to go and get these toilet seat headphone things that he puts around his neck to then hear the sound of the game. So he doesn't have to get ear infections. And he's got this dumb, look at it. It's super redacted, super short bus type of style of garb. And again, 42-year-old man, by the way, 42-year-old man with these cringy, horrible, redacted-looking um, toilet seat headphones. Absolutely love it. Sadly, if uh, I played it as night streams. I knew that, too, from the get-go, which is why I played the first run fully on the daytime shift. So, all right, guys, please support the stream if you can tonight. I'm not going to keep bringing it up, but, man, it would be great to get some more support. Thank you. That alone, that alone. The begging for support, the begging for don't, because again, I always hate the way he frames it as well. It's never tips, it's never donations, it's never money, right? It's always him saying support because he doesn't want to use the word because it obviously makes him feel bad. But the outright begging of people to give him money is the one thing that I feel like everybody unanimously around the world will obviously hate him for. But he doesn't think that's a bad thing. He thinks it's perfectly okay to remind people about a business. Not, not, and he always uses a fucking sandwich shop as an example. When you go to a fucking sandwich shop, they don't constantly keep coming around to you and reminding you that, hey, you can buy a sandwich. Hey, we've got other sandwiches there. Hey, they just leave you to choose. And if, if you don't want, if you want one, you buy one. If you don't want one, you leave. And he always thinks it's perfectly normal to keep reminding his audience who watch his fucking shitty stream six days per week, every single week, how to tip and how to donate. Real yo, they know how to do it. If they don't want to do it, if they haven't done it just yet, maybe they don't want to. You don't have to keep begging and pleading them. Absolute wanker. Okay, we're going to head downstairs from Kirk. Next eclipse is 2044. You and me might be dead via stress or nuclear apocalypse or something. I, I hope not. I hope to still be alive in 20 years. Let's can't you find it? I hope you're not alive in 20 years. No cap in your heart to forgive me for saying the quiet part out loud like like vivek does uh, no thanks for the dollar tip <laughs> that fake love is all ah, ah. uh i also received a super chat first super chat of the night uh by the way i also hate that that little reminder he does this all the time such a reminder first super chat in a while first super chat of the night the largest super chat of the night like f like just as a little hint 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 Hey, if you want, give me money, give me money, give me money. It's like, fucking hell, bro. Take a day off with the begging, please. Uh, from Big Boss. Boss. When you were deciding to make the documentary, were there any preliminary questions that got you to remember being good, interesting, or new? See, here's the thing. Like, there's nothing that I'm going to say or do that I think would be super interesting. It's more about the angle and 
essentially this documentary that was going to be made about me i already said all this publicly by the way this is no new information but he's so worried about slipping up and saying something he shouldn't say honestly like god almighty he's so such he's such a shifty scammy guy in it there's just nothing trustworthy about him how he talks how he acts like he's just so slimy in any other walk of life, in any other timeline in the world, he'd be out in the street shaking his tin cup, as fucking, you know, Chill Marion Co. would say. Like, honestly, bro, the fact that he's able to get away with this for so long in life is pretty astounding. It's quite an accomplishment. But the, the documentary was going to attack it from the angle of, well, here's everything everyone says about Phil. Here's all the reasons people hate Phil, right? But in reality, are any of these even that bad? Even if they all were true, all right, let's assume everything's true that everyone ever said about Phil. Is any of it really that bad? Of course it's that bad, you fucking piece of shit. Number one thing that's really that bad is the fact that he feigns poverty. This guy gets on stream and at times will say that his house is in jeopardy. Like he might lose his house if he doesn't get certain tips or he doesn't reach a certain donation goal. He'll say that. He'll lie about fixing some sort of household appliance and then not fix it. He'll get enough money to buy a TV. Instead of buying it outright, he'll buy it on fucking credit. Loads of weird little scammy things like that already are easy reasons to hate him and are really that bad because you're literally scamming your audience. He'll feign distress, say he's you know poor and doesn't have enough money to buy whatever. Then you'll go and fucking enjoy a fucking lobster dinner with his fucking wife and blow and go uh, <coughs> sorry and gloat about her on the podcast. Then if you ask him about it, he'll ban. He'll ban you. So you don't so he doesn't get any fucking questions about it or whatever it may be. That's enough reason to hate the guy. If you go a bit further, he fucking lied on his bankruptcy and basically, you know, claimed he have certain expenses that he didn't have. He basically got away with it because it was COVID and it was all done over the phone. And essentially he committed, you know. He committed fraud in that regard. That's easy reason to not like him. The fact that he, the way that he talks to his, his, his fans on stream, how rude he is, how condescending he is, even just with the fucking suggestion box stuff, that's enough reason not to like the guy. The fact that he's been able to get away with saying some crazy racist things over the years and had no real consequence about it is enough reason to fucking hate the guy. Let's actually check. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you some of uh, um, DSP's most top racist things. This is legitimately one of the most hilarious videos ever. And the fact that he's still on YouTube now, monetized and shit, is a fucking travesty. Let's, I'll show you right now, right? DSP racist, right? Um, you'll see a, a, an entire compilation of fucking DSP saying racist shit. DSP says he hates racism followed by clips of him being racist, right? From James Alessa and another one. Let's see. Let's, let's watch this one. 11k views right a brief issue that k word as well let's watch this one watch 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 this watch this please watch this this is fucking astounding let's fast forward a little bit pick up james the lesser let's continue i think that race yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's just... is stupid as shit and in my own experience that it has no grounds in anything factual and i think that racism is incredibly bad and it should not be you know ever be practiced um <laughs> but but I can't make people not think it. What? What the fuck? What? I don't even know what that clip is. But <laughs> okay, cool. Nice. Let's continue. All right. right. Well, that being said, obviously, real racism shouldn't be you know taken lightly. But being that this is such a serious subject, it's funny to kind of joke around sometimes and say things that might, in a serious setting, be racially insensitive, but Jesus they're not really Christ. meant, and therefore they can be pretty comedic. I'll be honest. I've heard people who are very <laughs> bigoted and very racist in my life. The people will nitpick things that they particularly hate about me, whether I said that I hated Minecraft years ago or I made a supposedly racist comment, even though I've supposedly never done anything racist. racist in my entire life. Yes, you have. Racist remarks. Racist remarks. Fan voted racist remarks. Oh, he's Chinese or something. Hey, oh, you want some, uh, <laughs> you want some chicken chow mein? Maybe I just practice. <laughs> I think that racism is incredibly Jesus bad Christ. and it should not be, you know, ever be practiced. Oh, doesn't that just look so delicious? Oh, it looks like fucking vomit on a plate, dude. Oh, that's what they eat over there? Ooh. Jesus Christ. Oh, they're about unit advanced. I, 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 I chewed the English language. Jesus I, 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 Christ. Hello. Hello to you. And you see there's a comment there basically telling him to go suck a dick. People back then were saying, were calling him out on it, and he still didn't stop. He still continued. And the fact that he still is on YouTube now is fucking a travesty, how he's been able to get away with it. He literally is the fucking pig roach. 
But soon his luck will end. I'm certain of it. I'm certain of it. There's no way you can just keep getting away with being this much of a piece of shit human. You have to be able to kind of get, you have to be able to fucking, you know, face the music at some point. You'd hope so, right? You'd hope so. Hello. Wow, I dumb racist prick. Racism is incredibly bad and it should not be, you know, ever be practiced. Trust me, Cole, you will be ready when you're done working. Oh, Chiki Chang Wang. Work. Hello. Chiki <laughs> Chang Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> oh yeah, Christ. you want Chicky Chang? I give you Chicky Chang. The whole is identical Chinese. We are in the same gang, so we wear the same baseball cap. Uh -huh. Oh, he knows that. You have into dust. Oh, would you like to give me some cocaine? Please what? give me cocaine. Hero. 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 <laughs> oh yes, we find other. We shoot them in face. Oh, this guy is fucking crazy, man. <laughs> anyway, you get the you get the gist. DSP is a racist piece of shit. He shouldn't be on YouTube, and there's every reason why everybody should hate him because he's a fucking cunt. But listen to him say that everything he's done is not that bad, and people should leave him alone. That people should really be like hating him so much and and wishing him harm. And doing the things they've done to his him and his family members and all of that, right? And, and you know, going through all of that, saying, "Look at all this stuff that happened to Phil," and analyzing it in that perspective, like, what's really going on? That people hate Phil so much. Like, what is the reason? And it was gonna, it was gonna basically look at it from like that perspective, um, which would have been a new one because most people have never attacked it. It's just, oh, here's all the things people hate Phil for. Are they true or not? Instead of. Well, you know what? Whether or not they're true or not, maybe it doesn't even matter, right? No, it does matter. That's the thing I've realized about a lot of locals, especially DSP included. They don't actually want to change their behavior. They don't actually want to get to the bottom of why people don't like them. They don't care. They'd rather you just leave them alone so that they can continue their grift, continue their scam, and continue living the life that they're living without any opposition, without anybody nitpicking away at what they do, or highlighting how much of a piece of shit they are. Wings does it all the time. Wings nowadays, Wings of Redemption, I feel like is purposely being as boring as possible. Some of the streams, or some of the clips I watch on Lummox and fucking, um, I forgot who the other guy is, um, channels and stuff, they're hard to get through because Wings is purposely being as dour and as boring as possible to not give any of his detractors or trolls any kind of content or any kind of meat to chew on to make him look bad in compilations and shit, which they still do. But I think with DSP, it's even worse. He genuinely does not see why people would dislike him. Even though the begging alone, his voice, the way his face is, the way he, the shape of his head, how he wears his shirts, how pale his skin is, his patchy fucking beard, how ugly he is. All those things are, are already things that most people would legitimately write you off for, despite all the other stuff he does. Shout out his fans, ban people outright for, for giving, you know, contrastive criticism, freaking out a fucking street fighter. All these type of things are reasons why you could easily hate the guy, not including how he treats his wife, the things he said about Leanne in the past, the drama with fucking, what's this thing, those other dudes that he was doing shows with and shit. There's plenty of reasons why not to like this guy, but he just doesn't know why. I'm I'm a perfect guy. Why would you not like me? I'm nice. No, you're not, bruv. You're a piece of shit. Perhaps people should just stop being fucking insane about all this bullshit. Even if it was true, who cares? Hey, yo, big None up, big up, big up, to... big up, Uche. Thank you for joining. What's good, Uche? What's good? What's good? What's good? Riding aces. Joked on the you. I see you. Ted, you. I see you. Warren, what's good? Matty boy, what's happening? Cloud K20, what's happening? him or his content or anything you know what i'm saying and there's going to be many parts to the documentary that that were going to be unique and different and i'm not going to spoil those because who knows right what do you mean I, who knows I'm you're not going to do it you big fat pussy you're not going to do it you did you you ran scared because you didn't want fans or detractors to find out any other thing about you that you haven't put out there yourself because allegedly mike club was meant to be filming footage inside dsp's home interviewing his fat wife interviewing his shitty parents interviewing his friends detractors so it was going to be a pretty wide-ranging you know documentary and the thing about it even though he thinks it was meant to be a fluff piece even though he hoped it would be a documentary that would put away or just you know dismiss some of the rumors about him or some of the suggestions allegations i don't think it's possible to make dsp look good it really isn't i think if you just let him speak you let dsp do what he does 
it's just impossible not to come away from it thinking he's a cunt. That's the thing that he doesn't see. So no matter who we would have gotten that camera to speak on his behalf and stuff, they would have clearly been a little bit, you know, because we've all seen what DSP's fans look like. And let's just say they're people that you would imagine would be easy to take advantage of. You would hear him speak. You'd hear his wife speak from his pet like it, 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 there's no way you couldn't come away from it thinking fucking hell what a fucking loser especially when you find out he's fucking 42 years old you're like jesus i'm not gonna spoil all the ideas we had because we had many different ideas of th ways we could attack things and and funny entertaining segments and things regarding the various different things that were that i'm accused of and shit like that okay but in essence i think that that that's the truth of the matter is that the things that people accuse me of or are so angry about aren't actually that bad even if they, they are that bad the, it, the 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 worst thing for me personally would be the feigning distress thing no one cares what anyone does with their money right you can do what he wants with his money he makes his money if they if the fans want to give him the money even though he begs for it he can do what he wants with it spunk it all on WWE champions and gambling whatever cool do your thing and going to total wine and drinking yourself silly with gin cool the problem is, is that he lies about it. So he'll get on stream and cry poor and say that he needs money to pay his bills, a tax thing, whatever happened, groceries, like really cringy, lame, disgusting stuff that he's begging for, right? He'll even beg for money to take his wife out for dinner. It's like, bro, have some shame. So he does all that, but then he doesn't spend the, like he then spends the money clearly on this WWE Champions game. That everybody has records of you know can see that clearly that's his account so it's one thing getting money from your fans but then l using that money that you allegedly say you need for particular things and not using it for that thing and using it for another thing is heinous because you know it's more than enough to kind of cover his bases and to live a you know a decent enough life quality of life the fact that he needs more is because he spends it all on fucking wwe spanish champions or he wastes it on wwe champions it's not that he doesn't make enough so he's trying to make up for the fact that he spends a lot of it on WWE Champions, but it's like, yo, if you just would save a little bit of that money that you get from fucking people and not spend it on that shitty fucking mobile game, you could be in a far better place financially. And you wouldn't need to beg people for a fucking PC or whatever else he begs for. Fucking horrendous. They were all true, which by the way, I've told you guys many times they're not, right? But even if you don't believe me and you think that everything that's ever been said about me is true, it's not nearly as bad as half the people out there right it's like why damn why do people hate phil so much like what exactly is going on that they, people hate him have you heard your voice have you listened back to what you sound like on stream dsp your voice alone is incredibly hate hateable <laughs> you know what i mean the background of your fucking streams hateable the way you switch scenes hateable the way you do this fucking crocked fucking thing with your laptop when you're writing your top thing when you bend your head that way and your screens that way and your keyboard's here that's already hateable the way you wear fucking pajama pants when you're streaming, but you wear like a button-up shirt on top, hateable. The fact that you take breaks and you leave for fucking 40 minutes to go and fucking pat your, you know, pet your fucking stupid cat and play a dumb mobile game is hateable. Everything about this guy is hateable. The fact, the way, the way that he says fucking feels day off, hateable. So much, doesn't seem to make much sense. In which case, that's correct. It doesn't. It's just basically people going crazy over obsessing or running with a meme to hate me rather than it being about wow i really hate this guy because he did awful things that are deserving of this level of awful hate again fair enough he says there's a hateable meme and it's easy to hate him why don't you come out and then dispel those memes why don't you come out here and prove them to be wrong but he doesn't he just says trust me bro bank leaks came out yes that how they were acquired was bad but dispel some of the bank leaks stuff then prove that that, that account isn't yours prove that the money that was spent on that account wasn't you no it just wasn't me it was, ma it was manufactured fabricated it wasn't me prove it trust me bro okay you know it's, it's a very different situation like some of the other people out there that are considered lol cows or, or, or people get harassed all the time on the internet man some of the things they've said and did is like wow unforgivable can't believe it i mean it's like really that's all phil ever said that's it that's the reason people hate him But again, it's, I feel like it's just the meme. The meme is overpowering.
it's not the meme. It's just you, again. This is this is a thing. Like he's probably never gonna get it anyway. He's probably never gonna get it, which is fine because that just makes him an incredible locale, and that's why it's great to watch him, um, especially on these kind of clip channels and stuff, and see how he fucking tries to wrangle in his brain why people don't like him. But come on, brother, come on. It's not a meme. You, you you've been on the internet for fourteen plus years. People know enough about you. If they don't like you, there's probably a legit reason why. You got enough content out on out online. Most of it is yourself. You're the one that put it out there. So if they come to a conclusion that you're easily to not you're easy enough to not like, there's probably a legit or a valid reason why. To the point where like you can't stop the meme. The meme has become bigger than the truth right not really like honestly really let's say for example you yep. look at all the things said about me that uh -huh. i used to be a racist and say horrible things about <laughs> i used to be a racist is that even a thing can you cure yourself racism i used to be a racist when you're he doesn't even have the self-awareness to realize why people hate him for other non-racist things but somehow he's able to cure his racism i cures my i cured my racismos I cured my ability to see people, <laughs> to judge people based on the character and not on the skin color. Like, what? My commentary, which I don't anymore, but I used to, let's even say I used to be a racist, which I wasn't, but let's say it was true. Let's say I spent ridiculous amounts of money on mobile games and didn't tell anyone, right? Let's say, what's what's the other ridiculous one? Because there's like three or four big ones, right? Let's say they're all true, every single one of them. Are any of those a big deal? Yes, they are a big deal. The mobile game one's a big deal because you lied about it and said that you didn't do it. You've also said that you promised your wife you wouldn't do it. You've also feigned distress to get more money to pay for certain things and then you spend it on gambling games, whatever. That's all bad. Those are all really, really bad things. And of course, it's meant you, you, you possibly committed fraud as well because you didn't declare you know, your outgoings and your incomings. So that's all really bad really bad things but to dsp not that bad <laughs> right in reality it's funny because you have people who've done entire documentaries about me like turkey tom and literally at the end of the negative documentary he makes he says but phil i don't even get it because phil's kind of boring i don't get the big deal he imagine being proud that a documentarian on youtube found you boring why is that a sense of pride why are you happy about that that shouldn't be that's not a good thing that you're a boring person why bother listen it's like that's that's a, you know that's a diss right you know that's an insult that isn't a good thing that you're boring <laughs> he's right like he's literally 100 percent right there's nothing super interesting about the hate against me besides that it exists i think more fascinating than what he's so obnoxious too no he doesn't even want to lower the sound of the game while he's doing this it almost feels like you know the trump thing you know when Trump um, gets, you know back in the, when Trump was president, he'd be on a lawn with a helicopter in the background. It almost felt like a um, on purpose thing to piss off the journalist. Like what? What do you say? Huh? And if he doesn't like the question, just pretend he didn't hear it. Next person, think same thing that he's doing here with his game. It's so unnecessarily loud. He should block in, you know, lower the volume. But nah, let's just keep it high. Let me just chat my shit. If you don't like it, you get banned. You know, I fucking love it. Big up fucking DSP. Big up, motherfucking DSP.